There are infinite types of variations for input and infinite types of variations for output, which is, by the way, what a human brain does beautifully. And so actually, it really is only the advances of AI in the last couple of years. And actually, I'm very proud to say Eigen has been really contributed to a lot of those advancements that allow us to actually automate this process today. And we couldn't automate this process maybe 10 years ago. Interesting. So you're a theoretical physicist, is that right? That's right. I have a PhD in theoretical physics from Oxford. Okay. <laughs> All right. so, so I have to ask, how does that lead to Eigen Technologies? Most companies get started because of serendipity. And I guess two very lucky things that happened. Number one is I went to do my physics PhD at Oxford. Uh, during my PhD, I invented a new class of X-ray lasers, <laughs> which you can use for things like next generation microchip manufacturing, imagery, things like that. And we got the patents granted and everything. But unfortunately, it would have taken about 10 years to get this commercialized. The time scale was way too long for me. But I realized that the mathematics of this could be used for a very interesting sequential pattern matching algorithm. Louis, so what do you mean by the mathematics of it, if you don't mind? Sure. So when I was basically calculating how this new type of laser would convert light into a more uniform, coherent form of X-ray light, which is what a laser is, I had to do a lot of calculations around effectively how light sort of moves through a, let's just call it somewhat chaotic system. Mm. In order to get this light to become an X-ray laser, they need to have all be in phase. I, I don't want to get into the technical details here. But effectively, I had to do something akin to doing random sequential matching. So being able to match sequences of patterns and really quickly and be able to run these calculations very quickly. And then I realized that actually language is that. Language is a sequential pattern. And if I can calculate being able to match sequential patterns very quickly in lasers, maybe I can do it with human language. That's not something that people just come up with, right? So like, you don't just think of those things. That takes a lot of advanced training. So like, how did you connect the dots there? Like, can you walk me through that process? Sure. I'll back up several years. <laughs> Please. Right after I graduated high school, you know, it was between high school and when I started college, 